Hi, this is Christopher Hoko coming with another fantastic episode. What I want to talk about pretty much this day, or this episode, is something that I definitely believe everybody should do or have done, but I know I didn't do a video on it, so I wanted to go back and cover it, especially since it's tax time. I want to make sure everybody's got their A's and B's covered, and that is making sure you separate your personal from your business. What I mean by that is we all have personal bank accounts. Don't put your business in... Don't mix those guys up. Get you a business account. The way to do that is create a business entity. Either get an LLC, a C Corp, or S Corp. What I would say is talk to your tax, uh, your tax person, your CPA. Get you one if you don't have one, and decide on what's the best entity for you to create. From there, you separate everything. If you're driving out to take a market to to look at a property, make sure you write down the mileage. If you buy books for your business, make sure you get the receipts for that. You go out to eat and talk to somebody about business and discuss things. Make sure you document all that in your beginning stages. Anything you do for, towards your business, make sure you that's make sure you got that documented so it go under your business costs, your business expenses, just like your returns. If you make some money and uh, definitely get some uh, cash or whatnot or acquire a property, make sure you got a business entity that it stays under. Keep them separate. I, I use an LLC. A lot of people I know use LLCs. Um, I have a business account related to the LLC. You can start an LLC in Michigan, um, probably what, $50, $50. You go out to the site. It takes about two days. Make sure you go ahead and pra um, process a uh, EIN number. Get your tax ID number so you can definitely write everything off. Get your business account started up. Get your business debit card and go from there. Set your foundation right to go to push forward to do business. Uh, it's tax season now. I wanted to get this out. I see I didn't do a video on it. I know we talked about other people's money. Well, you need an LLC before you do all that. You get somebody else's money. You want to have a business account to put that money in, not your personal account. Because all of that, when you file taxes, start hitting you personally. And you don't want to get audited. You don't want to have anybody looking into you and putting you through pretty much, I say, hell. Because that's what I hear audit is. And I'm not looking to get audited. And I don't want you guys to get audited. So I just wanted to share that information. Get you an entity. Separate your business from personal. Because you're a business. You're doing a business. And you got to make sure if you doing branding, you're doing marketing campaigns, you got to document that stuff. It can't be under your personal because it's for your business. It's just like if you worked a job and they got you doing job stuff, they give you a per diem. They make sure they get all their write-offs and make sure all their costs is documented the same way because you are a business, you are a brand. So you guys definitely get you an entity. So when you file taxes, you file them under the business and you file your personal. It just makes things simpler. No headaches, no problems. Um, it clears everything up, so definitely do that. Look into it. C corps, like I say, S corps. Find out what's, what works for you. Either talk to a lawyer, CPA, and find out exactly what you want to do. Once you start growing, I say get you a bookkeeper or be your own bookkeeper. They got millions of software out online that you can get, uh, so you can definitely document everything and make sure all your records are accurate. So just a heads up for the tax time. Keep your business and personal separate. And I think everything will be fine. Just wanted to tell you, I have LLCs. This is the path I'm going through. So I just wanted to give you guys the tidbit I'm doing as I go through my journey. I, I've been doing it, and I'm going to consistently make sure I keep my business and personal separate. As always, feedback is welcome. If you like this video, like it. If you don't, I understand. But definitely uh, feedback. I love getting that. This is giving me a lot of information to go by and always growing in my videos. Uh, secondly, if you want to see other videos, there's a link, Christopher Holcomb TV, more episodes there. Talk to you guys later. Make sure your tax is done right. Get you a CPA, get you an entity, get some things started. If you're going to get the ball rolling, make sure you cover yourself and keep your stuff separate, business versus personal. All right, you guys take it easy, and I'll talk to you guys later.